Let us analyze one way ANOVA in a SPACES software. Also, you must come across the assumption for calculating ANOVA. Uh, three assumptions very important uh, that independent variable must be a nominal or ordinal scale and dependent variables must be on interval or ratio scale. It means which must be a scale. Also, the group of there, there must be more than three groups. If there is uh, less than three groups, you can prefer for t-test. So in this way, in this uh, example, we have four groups. That's school, school number one, two, three, four, four groups. Okay, we'll tell you the theoretical aspect from the books to a explanation in SPSS software. For that, as I take an earlier example, I will take uh, IGNO uh, material problem for calculating uh, NOVA. The data entered, these data are entered in the last tutorial. The, uh, these data also will be analyzed in this tutorial. Then, then the data is ready already. Now to analyze uh, ANOVA, start from analyze, compare means, in the compare means, one way ANOVA. Okay, so in the dependent list and factor, dependent list in factor, factor is independent uh, variable, dependent list is, we will select dependent variable for this. So test score, which means which is in a, a, a scale, which would be dependent variable according to assumption of uh, ANOVA. And level of knowledge will be independent variable, which means factor. So here, look at the option. In the option, if you want descriptive statistics for this, prefer for descriptive statistics and give continue. Also, if you want difference between mean, difference between groups, you can prefer here post oak. In that, I will select Turkey. So different, uh, different between means are there for multiple comparison and give continue at uh, 0.05 significance level. Give continue and click OK. Now look at the output of the descriptive statistics and ANOVA. So school one number of NS5 mean standard deviation standard error and minimum maximum all the values are given for all the schools and total total mean standard error standard deviation and minimum maximum in the total also given so this is about uh, descriptive statistics which we prefer preferred for while we are calculating ANOVA now let us come to the ANOVA fire table we have four columns here this is variance and sum of square degree of freedom mean sum of square and uh, f test and significance level so while we are calculating the difference between mean we selected 0.05 as significance level anything less than 0.05 i will try directly reject the hypothesis and anything 0.05 i will accept the hypothesis in this case we have formulated the hypothesis as there is no difference between the level of school uh, there is no difference between the level of knowledge of history in all the schools let's check the whether the hypothesis is going to accept or reject so between groups in the between group sum of square is 5.167 and degree of freedom the uh, total groups in this example is 4 so n minus 3 n minus 4 is 3 and the degree of freedom between group is 3 and within groups the number of a uh, sample in this k in this example is 24 so here n minus 1 n minus 1 and c minus 1 so degree of freedom for within group is 20 and totally n minus 1 total sample is 24 and n minus 1 1 that's a 23 so 3 plus 20 23 so let us concentrate on mean square mean square of between group is 1.7222 and within groups is 1.308 so f test in this example is 1.316 and significance level is 0 0.297 which means which is a greater than significance level the significance level we selected is 0 0.05 so which means which is a greater than significance level so in this case we will uh, accept the null hypothesis 
so i told you we are doing the theory to practical which means the, the material available in books i will calculate in space software let us compare the different uh, the result between theory to practice which means software generated result to book generated result manual calculation and i will concentrate on final table of the anova table look at here between schools degree of freedom is 3 within schools degree of freedom is 20 the same thing where which we obtained between groups between groups mean between schools within school so degree of freedom is 3 and 20 the total is not given here the total would be 23 and sum of square of uh, between school sum of square of within school also is uh, given here so let us uh, look into the out uh, spss generated output so 5.167 26.167 total sum of square is 31.333 so the same result which we obtained from the uh, from spss output to school, uh, uh, book material so mean sum of square let us concentrate on mean sum of square of between school and within school mean sum of square of between school is 1.7222 and within school is 1.3083 okay let us look into the the output the same result and f is also same so which mean there is no difference between uh, the material given in the books to the uh, spss out output only if you give the other uh, inputs accurately while you are entering data that's why i have made a separate tutorial for entering data in anova so if you are entered the correct data the result would be right okay and you can also concentrate on uh, tucky a uh, post hoc test which means the difference between uh, means so uh, we our significance means our significance level is 0.297 the significance level of all schools different school will be also same which means there is no significance level 0.05 Yeah, the null hypothesis accepted in this is case so significance concentrate on significance level in between uh, multiple comparison between uh, mean uh, mean sum of square between the uh, mean of uh, different schools we will concentrate on significance level only okay this is a mean differences while you are taking mean differences you have to concentrate on significance level so this is the mean difference of school 1 to school 1 uh, through 2 uh, school 1 to school 2 the mean difference school 1 to school 3 school 1 to school 4 okay and significance level is also given at 95 uh, confidence the interval and 5% significance level in the second uh, uh, row you, you can see school 2 to school 1 significance level and uh, uh, and uh, mean difference and significance level and uh, all the values follows the same thing so in this way we calculated that uh, anova one way anova though you will uh, you have learned that uh, entering data in uh, spss software and you also learned how to analyze data in the spss software here very special is i selected book example problem so that you uh, from now onwards you can also uh, feel uh, confident to solve the problem from books to spss software Thank you so much for watching please do subscribe to my vision academy youtube channel thank you